All right, so I just had to go ahead and grab an extension because it helps getting a little too close with this gun. Um, we're going to uh, tighten these up. Now you don't want to tighten these up with full force. We're going to go down again, low speed, just to kind of get it on there. We don't want it to really ratchet. We just want to avoid having to, to uh, spin it on. I mean, what's really, why have a uh, power tool if you can't use it to save yourself a bunch of turning with your fingers, right? So, there's that. As soon as we hear that first couple of quick rivets, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it alone. Okay. Wiggle that out of there. Okay, now we're gonna take the uh, socket, put it in off of the impact wrench, and it's got that hog nose, so it gets sticky sometimes. <laughs> there we go. All right, and yes, again, because this is even closer, we're gonna use the extension. It is set to exactly. 130 pounds of torque because that's what it says for a Dodge Ram. So we're going to do 130 pounds of torque for each tire. Okay. Click there. You hear the click there? You're nice and tight. We heard our click, and we stop exactly when we hear it. There it is. Click, click. And that is. And there's our click. And there we are. So, the works. Uh, 20 volt. Impact wrench gets the job done. It removes lug nuts, and uh, as long as you got it in the right gear, the big bonehead, that would be me, in reverse, instead of trying to tighten the damn things, make your job harder, I have to say I'm impressed. That really did the job right. Of course, having a torque wrench to put it back on at the proper, uh, proper torque is helpful because we don't want to over torque them that's bad we don't want to strip nuts strip the reds or bust them so there we go friends we got a winner